so we're gonna start off using the stamp. I purchased all of these items from Hobby Lobby, so I'll have them linked in the bottom bar. But these clear stamps are pretty cool. They're just a little difficult to get off. And you wanna make sure that you have some type of a clear backdrop for you to be able to actually stamp it on to your project. So you saw I was rubbing it on my skin. That's just to kind of take off whatever film is on the new stamps. I learned that from someone else here on YouTube and it really just helps the transfer process work a little bit better. Next, I went ahead and grabbed another stamp off that same pad and then I put it right beneath the word Joshua. And today the reading was actually from the book of Joshua and I really liked it because it taught me a lot about leadership and courage and just being brave and I, I really felt like this hit home for me, especially with things that I've been going through recently. So. I made sure that on the law of the land side, I put believe in the Lord and I also put to always have courage just so that I could really remember the message here. So I'm always gonna try to do this in my Bible journaling projects while I'm coloring in the stamps. I think it's a really good time for me to just focus on the actual reading and what it means to me. And if you can see there, I have the words courage and strength. They're actually, I have little squares in purple around them on top of everything that's highlighted. Those are just the key things that stood out to me in the reading. So I did the reading before I went in with the Bible journaling just because I feel like that at least lets me read the message so that when I'm journaling, I can actually sit there and think about the message that was received. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep filling in the flowers on these stamps. They're really beautiful and I, I tried to do some fall-like colors just because I was in the fall kind of setting for the day. And these pencils are actually the watercolor ones, but I'm not using them as watercolor pencils. I'm gonna put these little banners on and it kind of stinks that they didn't have adhesive on the back, but I just went ahead and took the opportunity to use my washi tape. And then that kind of opened a lot of doors for using the washi tape on this, this page. I really liked the way that the washi tape came out. I think it really just changed the look of my Bible journaling for the day. These are actually stickers for a planner and they matched perfectly. So I decided to use those as well. And I just made sure to put the message in these two little stickers. So here's the funnest part of this. I found this deco foil at Hobby Lobby and there's so many different colors of foil that you can get, but basically you just write with this little pen however you want and you press the foil on and when you peel it off, the foil stays on the page. It's so cool. There's so many different color options. I'm sure you can order stuff online as well, but I just, was in awe and then I, I started going and I couldn't stop myself. I think it really, really makes the page look awesome. I stuck some more of that washi tape in the crease and this actually concludes my Bible journaling, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next Sunday.